Hello, this is a quick video to explain how live split works when you're viewing a speed run, specifically in my channel. So this is how my timer usually lo looks. This is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, any percent. So what you have here is at the top left, you have a picture of the game. On the very top, you have the name of the game and the category. You can often look there to see what category is being played when you come into the stream. Uh, on the top right, 21 slash 276 means there's, in this category, in these splits that I'm running against, there have been 21 completed runs. 21 completed runs on these splits. 276 times the timer has started, so 276 attempts. Uh, and that's just when I save. Sometimes I'll start, have a bad run. Uh, end it and then not say the splits for whatever reason. So 21 completed runs, 276 attempts. Okay, so then you have the names of the missions. Uh, Big Smoke, Rider, Tagging Up Turf, Clean in the Hood. That's all you can see for right now. As we move on, it scrolls through and it shows you the other missions that we're going to get to later. Um, and it has the time on the right-hand side uh of when we complete that mission. So it takes me uh, on my PB run. So this right here that we're comparing against the 452.16 is my PB run. That's how long my best single real-time attack run of any percent San Andreas took me. So we compare against that. So in that run, Big Smoke took me 3 minutes and 17 seconds. There's other times where I've completed Big Smoke uh, faster or slower. But in this run, it was 3.17. So... Uh, each time here you see is the time when I completed that specific mission in this PB run. So it's only in this PB run. It's not my best ever or anything like that, but, uh, the, the timer knows about my best ever and everything. We'll get to that in a second. But anyway, the final split is end of the line. That's the last mission in this category. It's always up here to show you what the final time is. So the final time is 4.52.16. That tells you that's my overall time for the entire run. That's my PB time. So if you, whenever you see like the final time, that's usually my PB that I'm running against. So uh, previous segment, uh, you'll see that in a second. This is the main timer. Uh, let's go ahead and start it. So the, the start of the, the game, the timer starts. CJ gets on his bike. He's riding. The mission's going. The time is, is tracking the first mission and overall. Right here, what you see is, is overall. This is the overall time. This one down here underneath it is the specific mission time. Possible time save here means... The difference between my best ever segment, as these splits know it to be, and what I got in my PB. So I can say, so I'm close to 3 minutes even, or 3.01, uh, best ever. Uh, but on my PB, I got a 3.17. So it's saying, if you're as good as the best you've ever been, you can save 16 seconds over the time you got in this PB run. So that's what that's telling me. Over here, this thing that says PB is... On this run, what I got was a 317.88. The best I ever got was a 301.84. Exactly what I was talking about just a second ago uh, with that. So, uh, you're playing the game. The time's going. Uh, somehow you find a major skip in Big Smoke, and uh, you beat the mission in a minute five. So, you split. So, once I split, this time here, uh, it, so the game says, all right, you're done with Big Smoke. We're moving on. On Big Smoke, you did it two minutes and 11 seconds faster than you've ever done it before. So now you got a 106. That's why it says 106 here now instead of 317. And this is flashing rainbow colors because it's the best segment I've ever had. I've never I've never beat Big Smoke faster than the 106 I got today. So it's flashing rainbow to let you know this is the best ever. Let's celebrate. Uh, and then obviously you see the minus. So we are ahead. We're ahead. We're, we're 2 minutes and 11 seconds faster. So the minus means we're faster. A plus will mean we're behind. Okay, so now this is the second mission. The second mission's been going for a few minutes, two minutes, 16 seconds. Now you're going to see the time is going to start to tick down. The reason it's ticking down here, live segment, is because it passed my best, and now it hits my PB time. So once I've hit the PB time, I'm in the red. I'm starting to lose time on this specific mission, on Rider, and I'm losing the time save overall. So while we're behind on this mission, in this mission, we're losing time. We're in the red. Uh, overall, we have a 2 minute and 11 second time save, so it's just eating away at that as we continue to lose time. So it just ticks down, ticks down, ticks down, until we finally 
beat it, and we split, and we move on. So now, instead of being 2-11 uh, ahead for the whole run, we're only 142 ahead for the whole run because on the previous segment, we lost 28.1 seconds. So we lost 28 seconds on Ryder. But we're still in the green. So we're still in the green. The reason we're still in the green is because we have a minute and 42 second time save overall. Overall in the whole run. So in the green or in the red is is usually referring to um, where we are overall in the entire run. Okay, so here if we were, let's say we were even through tagging up turf and then we got to... Uh, cleaning the hood and we're getting towards the end of cleaning the hood and we've kind of messed up we've slowed down a little bit so now we're losing time we don't have any more time save overall we were just about even with where we were in our pb so now we're losing time right here you can see oh our overall time loss is about 30 seconds so we're 30 seconds in the red so you see the timer overall is red because our overall run is currently red so after this mission split, so we say we finally finish it, we've lost, you know, 43.2 seconds, we move on to drive through. Now you can see the timer's in the green, but that doesn't mean the run is in the green overall. It means we have to figure out how to get back 43.2 seconds overall to get back into the green. And the reason this timer's green right now is because if I finish drive through right away, if I found the big skip to finish it in 20 seconds, then we would be... Uh, we would save a minute five overall, and that would put us 22 seconds into the green... Uh, overall for the run because we finished it so fast. But normally it's going to take us about whatever it took us on our PB to beat it. So it, it if you run a category a bunch of times, you got to kind of chip away at a time loss uh, as you play through. And it takes a while to get totally back in the green unless you have some major one mission later on where you there's a new strat and you can save a bunch of time and all of a sudden, bam, you're way into the green because you did the new strat on this run. Uh, on the old run, you did the old strat, so that's where all your time save comes from or you died on, the, uh, on your PB run. And this time you survived, so you get a huge time save uh, that way. Uh, I think that's basically it. Those are the basics. Like I said, as you split through, the missions move, and then the bottom mission is always the last one with your overall time, and that's your PB time. Uh, when it comes to San Andreas and a lot of these GTA games, there is an auto splitter, so the game just kind of splits uh, when you beat the mission. You don't have to do it yourself. Um... So the timing is a lot more precise for the end of the mission than that, and that's good, and we don't have to worry about it as we play and stuff like that. So that, I think that's it. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me on Twitch or send me a message on Discord or post it in the comments here. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? We'll see. But anyway, that's just the basics of how to understand the timer as you're watching a speed run. All right? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.